up guys my name is Adapt and welcome back to another video on the channel. So guys in today's video I am gonna discuss my favourite promo this year. So there's been quite a lot. If I can check footwiz right now um, to see what promos we've had. So we've had we've had obviously we've had team of the season, we've had team of the year, we've had ones to watch, we've had man, t uh, man of the matches, we've had European man of the matches, we've had um, heroes, we've had hero cards, we've had SBC rewards, SBC specials, player of the month cards, we've had record breaker, Halloween cards, um, we've had obviously footies, foot birthday, there were so many great promos this year, you know, and I think that promo wise, you know, live content, EA gave us not as, not the the amount I wanted to see but they gave us quite a bit if you think about it I've taken into consideration I did take about a couple of months off of ultimate team so for the majority of the footies promo I pretty much missed out on the footies promo uh not the footies what am I talking about guys I'm not talking about footies I'm talking about footmas so the footmas promo during Christmas um I, I just stopped playing FIFA around then but on the Footmas promo, um, I swear there were S new SBCs every single day, um, for every day or Chris or every day leading up to the twenty fifth of December or Christmas. Um, footies, I think footies is is the best one in my opinion. Um, it's when I'm the mo was mo the most into FIFA recently. You know, I've been so into FIFA during the footies promo. We had live content, the voting, we had new cards, we had new SBCs back from um, months ago, we had best of SBCs released back, like End of an Era Coco was released back, the Rossi, we had so many cards we can go and get, could go and get. I think it was just great, um, the footies promo, we had a Carrick, which was cheap, the best value, we got so many great cards for so cheap that's what it was in this promo and that's why i enjoyed it so much um and i i did most of the sbcs like manilas i thought that was a good idea making him available through the weekly objectives i didn't do for Shalko as he didn't fit in my squad the only ones i didn't do are the ones which didn't fit in my squad i did begovic i did rashford and i did martial um, I also did this, uh, got this end of an era Carrick, which I thought was a great card. Um, we completed Manilas as well. So, in my opinion, like the weekly objectives as well during the fitties promos were great. There was a chance we could win an untradeable team of the season player, uh, an untradeable ones to watch player. I don't get why EA don't do that more often. St. Patrick's. Pff, was that a great pro I don't think so. That was during Foot Birthday, I think. Foot Birthday, I enjoyed thoroughly a lot. That Rooney card, insane. We got Schweinsteiger for cheap. Um, Kaka was made available then. I think Foot Birthday has to be the second best promo for me as well. I enjoyed that. Festival of Football, um, it was during the World Cup. So I think everyone was watching the World Cup. It was a very good promo in my opinion, the, the cards that were delivered, some people would have thought, you know what, there's so many 99 rated cards, Mbappe's got a 99 rated card, um, Hazard's got a 99 rated card, there were so many 99 rated, quite a few 99 rated cards on the market, and some people would like, they thought Ronaldo should probably be, Ronaldo and Messi should be the only ones getting 99 rated cards, but in my opinion, like, there's so many usable cards, like, uh, Santi Cazorla, there wasn't really a usable Santi Cazorla card, there was his, um, foot swap card, but, um, Yo -Yo, players like Yoyo Toure, players like Ashley Cole, they became usable again, let me look at the Festival of Football Yoyo Toure, like, performance, like, the, the content we got from Festival of Football, I think, content-wise, it probably was the best promo, but, the mood people were in, everyone was just watching the World Cup and I think not a lot of people were really into FIFA at that time. And look at cards like this, Yoyo Toure, I think, let me look on my phone, there was Ibrahimovic, there was a special Ibrahimovic. There was like 94 John Terry cards, 94 Van Persie, 
Like, if it wasn't for this promo, we would have never never seen cards like this. And I think that it's, it brought a bit of fun back into the game as well. As much as people were saying, these players don't deserve these high-rated cards. It just brought back fun into the game, you know. Um, also, Team of the Season. I think Team of the Season was great. The the untradeable SBCs they, bring out, they brought out, sorry. Um... Team of the Season was good, but I didn't use enough of the Team of the Season cards, in my opinion, because with the untradeable SBCs, you invested your coins into them because they were so so good value, they seemed, but you're literally getting rinsed of coins uh, and you're just putting them into untradeable cards and you're using them cards. Say, for example, I wanted to try Team of the Season more, as I didn't really try them much. Um, if you really wanted to try loads of Team of the Season cards, pretty much the... What most people did was just play the draft, but I think Team of the Year was great as well. I enjoyed Team of the Year, but at Team of the Year, loads of the cards are all expensive, so only people with most amount of coins are really able to use them. Footmas, I've already talked about. Path to Glory, mm, I don't think that was great. I don't think Path to Glory was a great promo. Um, and I think the SBC reward cards, obviously, um, we're given like foot swap. That was a decent promo as well. I enjoyed that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So I think the promo which I was most active in and I had the most fun in is is footies for me. Tell me what your guys' favourite ones were. And if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.